This was the Portsmouth Grammar School first 15 as they were in the 1962-63 rugby season. Half a century on, they came from all over Britain and across the world to recreate that team photograph in exact detail. Some did keep in touch over the years, but many didn't, so it was a weekend for remembering and reminiscing. The reunion was John Owens's idea, so it was his job to trace not just the team, but their reserves and coaches as well. We used our wits, our surviving wits, what's left of our wits. And by chance, really serendipitously, we, we managed in the end, with months to spare, to get all 23 players. They spent Saturday afternoon watching today's first 15 in action. Richard Simonson now lives in Arizona and works in Kuwait. Did the veterans consider playing once again? I think the older you get, the wiser you get, they say. That would have been a foolish decision to play. We would probably have been hauling people off on stretchers. Ken Bailey was captain of the team 50 years ago. Did he recognise everyone? You look at a face and as soon as it smiles, you know who it is. And then you find you have this instant empathy back. Hello, how are you, etc. And it's there immediately. Phil White flew in from his home in Canada to be at the reunion. Does it feel like 50 years ago since they were all last together? In one way it seems a lifetime ago, which it is. In, in others, you know, it like, seems like yesterday and it's, it's quite bizarre how the brain works. John Grant made the longest trip to be here, all the way from Melbourne in Australia. Was it worth it? We've all got something in common with each other from all that time ago and it is absolutely brilliant to see everybody and of course, you know, uh, nobody has died and that's wonderful. Five decades is a long time to wait for a reunion. Next time they might not leave it quite so long. There are already plans for another get-together in ten years' time. Richard Jones for Meridian Tonight.